This story begins with a single plastic bag. One bag that I got from my local grocery store to carry home a single container of peach yogurt. Once I got home, I shoved the bag in with all the other bags, next to another bag full of other bags, and I never really thought about it. Maybe I tried not to think about it. I mean, I'm an average guy. I'm not what you consider a tree hugger. I try to be informed, I try to do the right thing, but I find that it can all be a bit overwhelming at times. I live in a small town in Colorado, and it wasn't until my town challenged another town a few hours away to see who could reduce their use of plastic bags the most that I first started to think about plastic bags and what we do with them. I mean, we all have a lot of bags, right? Everybody does the same thing. We collect them, we shove them anywhere they'll go, like under the sink, into closets, junk drawers. We throw a pile away every now and then just to be done with them, because they're disposable, right? They were created to be thrown away. But let's face it, there's a dirty little secret here, even if we won't admit it. Just because plastic is disposable doesn't mean it just goes away. After all, where is a way? There is no a way. It actually sticks around for a really long time. That got me thinking about all the endless products made out of plastic. A lot of them designed to be used for less than one day. Heck, less than 15 minutes even. Once I began looking around, pretty much everything seemed to be made of plastic. Could all this plastic in my life maybe even be bad for me? So I started looking into it. The way it doesn't go away, the way it pollutes, the way it flies and floats and drifts and clogs and entangles, the way it gets into things so big and so small, the way we can't escape it anymore, the way, eventually, we may not have any recourse. We'll all just simply have to stand up and say, bag it. doesn't come in plastic. <laughs> <laughs>